Welcome back to the True Crime Fan Club Podcast. I'm your host, Lainey. Wisconsin is home to some of the most notorious serial killers, Ed Gein, Jeffrey Dahmer, and David Spanbauer. One man would join their ranks in 2009. He was able to have a 21-year crime spree, committing vicious rapes and murders, going virtually undetected. He was the Milwaukee North Side Strangler. Okay, on to the show. Walter Ellis was born in Holmes County, Mississippi, to Leroy and Maddie Ellis on June 24, 1960. Not much is known about his early childhood or when the family picked up and moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. What we do know is that he was very troubled as a youth. Neighbors recalled seeing Walter beat up neighborhood children with no remorse. Children ran past his house in order to avoid him and his hair trigger temper. At the young age of 14, he was charged with attempted murder and robbery. There was no conviction in the charges. Due to him being a minor, his record is sealed, so we don't know the specifics of his charges. As time passed, Walter grew out of his violent temper and into a surprisingly quiet young man. He no longer terrorized his peers. Instead, he became affable and even well-liked. This change in demeanor was a welcome relief to his neighbors. Walter was 19 when his first recorded crime took place. He was caught after robbing a home and charged with felony burglary in November of 1978. He was given just four years of prison. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to rate, review, and of course, subscribe on iTunes. It would really help us out. You can find us on most social media platforms, Twitter, at TCFCPod, Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TCFC podcast, and of course, our website is truecrimefanclub.com. If you have an episode request or a general suggestion, you can send us an email, tcfcpod at gmail.com. Until next time.